It looks much cleaner and it looks like it's mated, but it's not. Two niches, two corner seats. Okay, so I got all the Dietra heat down, finally. And you need to test this three times. Okay, so it's Monday morning. Um, I'm back on the job here. And I cemented these three tiles in. I mean, these two rows of tiles in. I had cut these and had just left them there on the, on the Thursday because I didn't work Friday. So now I got these cemented in. Now I'm gonna do up here and do up here. And then the only thing left I'll have is the niche under the bench seat and on the outside of the curb on I mean on the inside of the curb on the outside of the curb this GC likes to put a piece of Azac that's a plastic trim which looks like baseboard so that the baseboard will run all the way around the room without interruption and that's perfectly fine not a problem with that so now I'm gonna mix some more mortar and probably keep going up this way I got one extra row over here that leaves me two rows up there and three rows over here so I'm gonna mix some mortar I already got this top row cut these are my pieces down here so now I'm gonna just keep on going up I got that wall done now I'm gonna move on to those you know those two rows there those two top rows and then the niche and you know, the corner seat. So these snap cutters are a big time saver because I got to cut off about three quarters of an inch of this off this tile. So just gonna line it up. So all the wall tile is done. Tomorrow I'll get the niche under the bench and under the under the curb over there. Won't take long. And then we'll clean everything up. So here's a little uh, bull nose hack. So you don't have to miter those corners. You don't have to miter these corners here. If you get if you cut your bull nose square. And then you put it on like that it, it doesn't look good it looks ugly because you got this big big gap here instead cut it a little little ear so when you put it on it looks much cleaner and it looks like it's mited but it's not okay so it's the next day again and uh, I showed up I knocked out all the clips and I cleaned up everything like the grout lines and any thin set that was on the tile got it nice and clean it's all nice and clean nice and shiny nice and shiny the, um, the only thing I have left is under the bench seat and under the curb the two this I, I finished this other niche Got that all done, and uh, so I'm gonna work on this bench seat next, and then I'm gonna do under the curb. Okay, so the niche is done, both niches are done. That seat is done. That seat was done before I, th I did that today. I did under the curb, and all done. So all the wall, all the tile, in this shower is all done so I'm just gonna clean up a little bit maybe I'll pull up this cardboard and we'll take a look at it when it's all cleaned up 
Okay, so the shower is all done. It just needs grout. And I cleaned it all up, but I still need to do the main floor, which I'll be starting tomorrow. So here it is here. All done. Cleaned up. Remember the two drains? Haven't seen those in a while. Two sets of mixing bowls, two niches, two corner seats. All done, finished. Okay, so these trains come with temporary trains, and this is gonna be the actual train that I'll pop in there. And there, I get two once uh, I grab the floor. Okay, so I'm getting ready to install the wire on the floor. Uh, this is a Dietra heat uh, heating system, floor heat system, uh, but pretty much they're all more or less the same. So in this system, you, you have three components. So you got the thermostat, the wire, and the mat. So this goes with the instructions and the warranty card and you need to test this three times before while you install it. So first time you test it is when you take it out of the box, second time you test, test it is when you put it in the mat, and third time you test it is after you install the tile. So this is the 240. 240 volts and I'm going to put this in a 2-3 configuration so I'm not going to go over all the details on how to install this mat I'll link to a video that has very explicit instructions on how to test it and how to install it so I'll link to that video so I'm just you know showing you what I'm doing today so I'm going to test this install it on the on the floor and then install the tile. Okay, so got the wire down, two, three configuration, all the way. Toilet comes to about two pucks after the wire. There's no heat going in there, so this was actually the perfect size. I mean, couldn't have even gotten any closer. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna put the two sensors in and then test again. Okay, so we got the sensors in. Snaked it all the way over here. There's no snake to bring out the wall, we'll do that later. And this is, a, like I said, it's a 3-2 configuration. I tested it twice, now I'll start installing the tile. And once the tile is done, I'll test it the third time. Okay, so now, now I got the floor heat down, it's time to install the tile. Now on this, on this floor I've got a big 8 inch by 40 in, 48 inch plank tile, right here. 8 by 48. Now to help with the layout, this is actually a pretty simple layout. To help with the layout, you can use a story pole. So these lines uh, spaced at the distance of tiles, including the ground line. So you can just use this, just move it along. And put a mark where a full tile will be, and then you can flip it around, put your tile on a mark, and then you can see what piece you're going to get at the door or over there. Anyway, this is just going to help for, for your layout. Plus, this way here, it, it is also the length of a tile 
which will help you figure out the distance from one wall to the other without having to pick up or measuring a tile. Okay, so here's a piece of information for heated floors, electric floor heat. When you're installing the electric floor heat, I mean you're installing the tile on your electric floor heat, you don't want to use lightweight mortars. That would include like X77, um, Trilite, or Ultralight from Ape, or uh, Prolite, any, any of those mortars which are called lightweight mortars. You don't want to use those because um, heater floors, they like mass and you'll lose efficiency if you use a lightweight mortar. You want to use a regular sanded mortar uh, like on this one here. So for the walls, I used ultralight by my pay and for the floor I'm using all set. You don't want to use the lightweight mortar on a heated floor. You always want to use the regular 50 pound bag mortars. Okay so I got some some floor tile down but I'm, I'm really cramped in here with all the stuff that's in here so I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna clean up gets to get rid of some of the junk move stuff around so I have some room room to work so let me show you what's going on from here to here this is all all done over here these these three rows and then this last fourth row these other ones it's just placeholders to hold the clips in place and I'm working myself into a corner here so I gotta get rid of some of these bags here I move some stuff over to the shower I got my workstations here, but I gotta get I gotta move that door. I gotta move that that toilet. There's another door behind there. I gotta get rid, rid of some of this junk so that I can keep going and put some more detra down. It's just nowhere else to put it. I can't put it in the bedroom. So this is what I'm I'm t taking care of. So I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff, and then tomorrow we'll continue with the tile. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I knocked out the clips out of the floor. I, I didn't get that much done yesterday because I had to clean up and make some room. It's just, this is driving me crazy here with all the stuff that's in this room and I can't put it anywhere else, so I have to move stuff around. But anyway, let me show you what I, I got done. <clears throat> so yesterday I put in the wire and I cleaned out all the crap that was all around, all the garbage. I move stuff around. I set up my my stations, and I got this tile down. I wanted to go further, but I was just working myself into a corner over here. So this morning, I knocked out all the clips. I cleaned it up. I figured out because I have to get the Dietra down, the Dietra heat mat in that room there. But I need to make room first. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna come back these three rows as far as I can over to here fill all this in go back this way as far as I can that way tomorrow I can get this stuff out of here because this is really killing me here I can get this stuff out of here put it on top of the tile and then I can put my Dietra heat mat down and then continue these rows through here. It just, it just, it just drives me, me nuts. I don't know why they brought these doors up. The, I mean, they should have left them in the garage, but I can't take them down by myself. And uh, there's actually no room in the garage because I've got three cars in the garage. So anyway, this is what I have to deal with. So I am going to just keep tiling over here. See all the stuff that I put in here? Those two boxes, I really didn't need those two boxes in here either. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so this is what I got done. I got done, that done over there. I got all this done over here. I can't go any further in that way because I need to get the Dietra heat down but first before I get the Dietra heat down I need to get all that stuff out of there 
and I can't get all that stuff out of there until this tile is set. So this is as far as I can go today because I'm, I'm in a corner here. I got no room to to work here. It was hard enough to get this in, uh, so I can't go any further. So I guess that's it. It's around lunchtime, around twelve o'clock, and I'm gonna have to go home now because I can't do anything else. So another one of those days. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I cleaned up all the clips. I knocked out all the clips. I cleaned up the floor. Get all the floor cleaned up and all the clips knocked out. Oops, but I have to wash a little bit better. There's another one there. But anyway, so now I'm going to take all this stuff out of here <laughs> and put it in here. And then when it's time to grow out, I'm going to have to move it again. So it's a pain here. But anyway, so let's see if I can get this Dietrich heat mat down here today. And I'm going to call it quits. It's um, December 31st. Once I get that mat down and I am out of here. Okay, so finally got this room cleared out. And now this one is crammed with stuff. So what I'm gonna have to do here is, because there's a lot of, you know, the toilet, the doors and everything are in the, in the shower. Once I get this floor finished, I will clear out all my tools. So I get rid of all my tools, like that table and the cutter and the, and the, and the, and the, and the dry cutter there. And, you know, most of my other tools and and then I'll crowd the floor then I'll have to cover the floor because I'm gonna have to move everything out of the shower and then grab the shower so usually I like to grab the shower first so get it done but this time it's gonna have to be the other way around okay so I got all the Dietrich heat down finally now the kid gives me plenty of room to work on this is where, where where it ended right here on this line here that's as far as I could go now I got all that stuff out of here over there I can finally finish this room you know but I'm not gonna be able to go do that much because I can only go so far because this, this is the only way out I can only go so far and then I'm trapped I can't go any further so I'll go this way some that way some, then I'll finish in there and where the toilet is. And then when I come back, I'll keep going on these two areas here. So another thing is if you ever get leftover thin set, there's no need to throw it away. You can just pre-fill your, um, your waffles. Uh, a lot of guys actually like to pre-fill the whole thing. I don't do that. I think it's a waste of time, but uh, it's perfectly fine. Just remember if you've got Dietrich heat, don't pre-fill it until you get the wire in. Because if you put the if you pre-fill it before you put the wire in, <laughs> you're not going to be able to put the wire in. There's no wire in here, so there's not a, that's not a problem. Just pre-fill over there. There's a wire, so put your wire in, and then if you've got leftover th th thin set, you can pre-fill it. But anyway. This is it. So it's December 31st. It's about, I don't know, like 10.30, something like that. Uh, I am going to call it a day. I'm out of here. Happy New Year to everyone.